Hello and welcome back to Lord Fett Gaming Plays Neverwhere Tonight's Enhanced Edition Shadows of Untied. I'm your host, Lord Fett. In today's SOU video, we're in chapter one. This time we're inside the foothills and we're going to have some fun questing and we're going to meet a very special person. I'm not going to spoil until afterwards. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwhere Tonight videos just like this. And don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be updating my content and more. Now, last video, I was in Hilltop East, took care of some kobolds. This time, we're going to go around and visit some people. Now, I'm going to visit the first person. This guy is really cool. If you're a good guy, you definitely want to do his quest. If you're evil, do his quest, then take care of him. So let's go ahead and start this one up.
Now, if you're evil, you go ahead and attack him. Memory serves me right. No matter what, you find the shadow heart. What happens is, is you still get his heart. If you're good, yeah, don't attack him. Still, I was playing my aspiring black guard. Yeah, that was fun, though. It took me a lot of tries to defeat him. A few lucky knockdowns, that was it. Now, let's check those bodies. Yeah, gnolls are now in the area. They're big. They don't have a candle on their head. Yeah, that's a wild reference for those of you uh, who play that game. Still, I'm going to go ahead and kill some uh, foes. There's a bear. It reminds me of Baldur's Gate 1, everyone. Yeah, this expansion brings back some of the good memories. Yeah, that bear does owe me a life. Messed me up on one of my tries, but still, that bear is going to die. The bear is down, and I'm going to explore some of these areas for the Shadow Heart. I'm going to mark two of them. That was on my try one, then... Yeah, Mr. Bear got me. That was unlucky. Still, this is one of them. Now, let me explain about the Shadow Heart. He only appears in foothills, or hilltop foothills to be exact. And the thing is, is when the Shadow Heart is wounded, or about to die, it'll teleport around the map. Yeah, you heard me right. It teleports around the map. And that is not fun at all. I'm just putting a marker there. I'm going to put two markers there as an example. Still, be careful when it teleports around. There will be other enemies like gnolls, kobolds, or bears. Now, before we do that, there's someone special we're going to meet. Which I love. He's my favorite character in the entire expansion.
Oh my goodness. Well, Deacon has the tower statue that's broken. And he's blackmailing us, so we gotta get him free. I love Deacon. I tried to be persuasive, it didn't work. I think that was set to impossible level. So, here's the thing. I'm going all over the map because the Shadow Heart, like I said before, will teleport around. I did a mistake on during my uh, trial runs to test on how many times the Shadow Heart does appear. It's random, seriously. The thing was, he was here, then I got to that one spot I previously marked. Mr. Bear saw me while I was taking care of Shadow Heart. Bear took me down. Critical hit. Yeah. I rolled a one. Died, and that was it. And I did a second run. Actually, I cleared the map out. Flawless. Got critical hits like crazy. Shadow Heart never appeared. Yeah, so you gotta be careful with the Shadow Heart teleportations. I advise uh, definitely making uh, saves for this if you want to. Or just leave making a save at the start of entering the foothills. So I'm just gonna go ahead and check around this area some more. Yeah, I might as well just sweep this entire area of possible uh, locations for the Shadow Heart. I'm coming up on another one possibly ahead. I'm going by uh, my memory of this test run where I found it actually actually it was retreat to there. First he was up high, went down here, went over there, I kept them missing and he went back here. Yeah. That's the shadow heart for you. And that shadow heart yeah it's a uh, SOB but you want to kill the shadow heart because he does have an ingredient for the grinder and for that one uh Nice elf who is breaking bread with us, minus the uh, bread. And besides, it's a quest too. So I'm going to check over here, check around. Now there's a bear here. I think you need either a druid or ranger who could speak to animals. And that bear might give you a hint on what's uh, going on. That bear is actually uh, really cool though. I mean, it's things like in this expansion they added. They had a lot of skills in it that you... Uh, really didn't use you started to use well this expansion definitely uh, did that a little tougher too yeah it's a 1 through 15 expansion and it's a lot tougher it's a lot more uh, fun too so I'm gonna go check in this area yep, I'm gonna check down here I'm gonna check everywhere and up ahead should be a knoll we're gonna meet our first knoll ever and it's gonna die <laughs> Yeah, you're going to be seeing knolls later on in the uh, chapter. The, there's a knoll area we're going to hit. There's also a spot where there are knolls. Get used to them. And also, I want revenge for uh, that knoll kidnapping to hero from Baldur's Gate 1. Oh, wait, that was a long time ago. Still, that was good revenge, though. Yeah, play that game, please. Especially the Enhanced Edition. I'm going to go ahead and just keep on uh, moving, searching around. Yeah, I'm searching for possible Shadow Heart spots. Yeah, those Shadow Heart, yeah, I definitely want its item. Now, right up ahead will be some uh, Cobalts. Try not to fight the uh, Dwarf nearby. Otherwise, that Dwarf will uh, kill Steel. You're going to see uh, that. <laughs>
after uh, one kill I got and the other kill got stolen by the uh, Grey Dwarf. The Grey Dwarf, in other words, it's an Undark Dwarf, gave us a quest. And that quest is rescue his daughter. Now, Dorna was a little bit of a racist, everyone. Yeah, her uh, anti uh, Grey Dwarf uh, attitude popped up. I was not appreciating it. She reminds me of a certain character from Final Fantasy X. Waka. Just find that out. Still, up ahead is a bear. You want to be full hit points because if you're not, that one swipe from a bear and it's a critical hit, goodbye. You have to reload your save. Yeah, that's not good at all. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare, kill it, and loot up its fur because I need money. Yep, that bear died. He, I want him dead. I need money. Like I said before, Shadow of the Undentine, it's a bit hard to get cash. You see, in the uh, original game, there was chests that had random loot. A lot of good random loot. Most of it got sold. This one, nah. They were more careful. Now, before I actually uh, go rescue uh, the uh, Great Dwarf Farmer daughter, yeah, because I'm a good guy. This is a spot for the Shadow Heart. They, this is one of the possible spots they do appear. I was trying to do at the time see if I get the Shadow Heart first before saving the daughter. Yeah, I was trying to do all that. Nope, didn't go my way. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this area out before I uh, go on to the next part. This spot coming up is another possible location. Yeah, this is the uh, spot. One of the uh, good spots, and I can't get there, so looks like no Shadow Heart. Like I said before, this thing appears at random. And there's a bug, of course, that was carry on from the original version of Neverwinter Nights Shadows of Undentide, that it never appeared. Happened on one of my uh, trials. Just be uh, careful, like I said before, save at the foothills. You uh, definitely want to kill the Shadow Heart, though. I mean, seriously. I'll show you why later. But for now, we're going to go ahead and rescue the uh, daughter. Yeah, we got to rescue her from a, a hill giant. Before I hand, we're going to go over here be a little bit sneaky because we're going to get assaulted by wolves. You want to definitely try to do them at one at a time. Otherwise, yeah, things will be tough for you. So I'm going to go ahead and kill both of them. Now, in order for the hill giant release, the daughter you need to be very persuasive. Do not try to take it off. It's a hill giant. You're level one or two, or maybe three. It'll kill you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going inside. I return after.
I do want to see a dice roll on that, and I fail, and there's a rat. I'm going to kill it. After you kill the rat, that's optional. There's some rocks. Go ahead and go through them. Now, there was an evil option. If you pick it, you're evil. That was really fun. I did it for my Black Guard when I first played this expansion. It was a good time. Yeah, this uh, expansion has some very nice evil things to it. I mean, some really good evil things. So, I'm a good guy instead. I sent her home to her father. Now, I am going to do is go ahead and look for the Shadow Heart. I want his heart, of course. That heart is very important. Also the horn too. It's a quest item. I'm going to go ahead and check the top areas. And if I can't find any, I'll get my reward from the Great Door Father. Okay, that one is not at spot number three or four. Lost track of that. Let's go ahead and check this one spot. Okay, I'm just going to be very careful. Look around. I believe there are no more foes left yet yeah, there are uh, none so let me see and there it is I'm gonna go ahead and kill it I'll be back after it's dead Oh my goodness, I rolled a 20 on that. Normally, the Shadow Heart goes around the map. Yeah, it does. Instead, it stood in the same spot, even died at the same spot where it was at. Talk about rolling a 20 on that. Wow! Now I got both items. One quest, one to cook mine with a quartz crystal. So the next part, what I'm going to be uh, doing is actually go ahead and turn this one quest in because I want that reward. Yeah, we were good. We should get a nice reward out of it. Evil, yeah, that's the more fun option. Still, let's go ahead and talk to a dwarf. Hey, okay. Now, the amulet, it's an amulet of natural armor plus one. It gives you one uh, AC. Pretty good amulet. It's a really nice one to start out with. Now, next part, we're going to go ahead and turn in the horn. Yeah, you see the arcane archer wants that horn for his wife. We're going to make him very happy. Yeah, we're definitely going to make one happy man. Because it's a cure basically for his wife. Hopefully... He gets it to her in time, so let's uh, do this. I greet you. Now that is uh, done. Yeah, he's going away. He hopefully does cure his wife. I got some good points, experience points too. I'm going to park my character at the Elven Crypts. That'll be for the next video beforehand. Here's the uh, deal. I'm going to show everybody the teleportation crystal. Now the teleportation crystal, it consumes one of the crystals you use uh, from the, uh, what you call the grinder. To uh, make them so they're very limited use for teleportation that's why I am a little bit only picking certain areas I picked that one because it was a long walk I didn't want to you know bore you all with that I'm doing this for one reason you see I'm putting the shadow hearts heart there and a quartz crystal and that's a lesser amulet of health now this will uh, uh, give you uh, let me see here Immunity to not only disease, but immunity to poison. 
that is really useful. That's like two immunities there. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Give Dorna the ring. Now she has disease immunity too. So both of us are now immune to diseases. I'm going to say I will only use her for uh, this uh, chapter. There will be another character coming up I'll uh, definitely use. I'm going to keep that character a bit quiet. I might have accidentally let it slip. But I'll keep it quiet for now. If you all know what character I'm talking about, screw it. Just talk about it in the comments. I'll uh, I'll just say, yeah, something like that. I'll say something. Still, next stop, what I'm going to be uh, going to is town just to identify the, uh, what do you call it, amulet of natural armor plus one. Yeah, I'm just going to show you that. I didn't do it in the last video. That's why I flashed the ring of uh, disease immunity off in the first portion of the video. Still... You want to identify items. I mean, some of these items are really nice. And for starting items, this is uh, pretty good. So I gave it to uh, Dorna. Yeah, she has a little bit more AC than I do, yet she also heals from time to time. She's a cleric thief. I want to keep her alive, at least for this uh, chapter. And the uh, other character in the next one, I'll just say he does something better. So I'm going to go inside the shop where the... Uh, dead uh, kobolds uh, guarding it and get some items identified and sold I'm also gonna point out real quick that I'm eyeing that short sword even though I'm gonna be specking into a different item that's gonna be some time before I actually uh, will use it I'm also getting some healing kits so let me explain on how uh, this does uh, work the henchman in this uh, expansion now, in the original, when the henchman dies, they disappear and go back to a certain spawn point in a chapter. Unless, of course, you're at the point of no return. And this one, they're down. And if they're down for the count, they'll disappear. So, you use a healing kit on them, they'll rise back up. Which is really good. Now, for the, uh, I think it was Hordes of the Underdark. You had to either resurrect them or they are by disappears or something like that. I'll have to look that up. Still, each of the three uh, campaigns, the official ones, dealt with death in a very unique and fun way. So, before I actually will end the video, I'm going to talk to the pretty Harper lady and update her on what's going on and tell her about Deacon. Oh wow, I am so close. So, let's go ahead and update her. Have you any news of the artifacts? Now, when you talk to the Harper lady, she teleports you back where you use the ring, even if it's in danger, so be careful on that. So, here is a nice recap for today's video. Number one, we help out the Great Dwarf, get reunited with the daughter. Number two, we found the Shadow Heart, kill it, got the horn, gave it to the Arcane Archer. We met Deacon too. Now, in the next video, you see the Elven Crypts behind me. We're going to go inside those and retrieve one of the artifacts that was stolen. Well, this is it for my Neverwinter Nights Enhanced Edition Shadows of Untimed video. Thank you for watching, everyone, and have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this, and do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left and on the bottom left if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.